Imagine a world where machines not only understand human language, but also reason, learn, and adapt with cognitive abilities that rival, and perhaps surpass, our own. This isn't a scene from science fiction. It's the emerging reality of artificial superintelligence, or ASI. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course, without even thinking about it, no hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants, we're just building a road, and so goodbye anthill. Right now, we live with artificial narrow intelligence, AI, designed for specific tasks, like Google search or ChatGPT. We're also making progress toward artificial general intelligence, an AI that could think and learn like a human. But ASI, that's the next level. AI researcher David Shapiro recently tweeted that OpenAI may have cracked AI's biggest challenge, generalizing beyond training data. If true, this means AI is no longer just repeating what it learned, it's thinking in ways once unique to humans. In other words, Pandora's box has been opened. The O3 model. Leading this AI revolution is OpenAI's latest breakthrough, O3. O3 was able to score 85.7% on the same hidden holdout set. This is especially important. 87.5. Sorry, 87.5, yes. This is especially important because um, human performance is, co uh, is comparable at 85% threshold. So being above this is a major milestone. And we have never tested a system that has done this or any model that has done this beforehand. So this is new territory in the ARC AGI world. Congratulations with that. Congratulations for making such a great benchmark. Mm. Yeah. Um, when I look at these scores, I realize um, I need to switch my worldview a little bit. I need to fix my AI intuitions about what AI can actually do and what it's capable of. This model takes AI reasoning to the next level, especially in coding, math, and scientific problem solving. What makes O3 different? Unlike older models, it doesn't just spit out answers. It thinks step by step using a chain of thought approach. This means it can plan ahead, break down complex problems, and reason through challenges, leading to more accurate and deeper insights. Simply put, O3 isn't just smarter, it's learning to think more like us. General Intelligence Benchmarks To track how close we're getting to true general intelligence, researchers use benchmarks like ARC AGI. So how do we design an IQ test for machines, an intelligent test for machines? All right, so in the paper, I outline uh, a number of requirements uh, that you should expect of such a test. Uh, and in particular, we should start by acknowledging the priors that we expect. This test isn't about memorizing data. It checks if an AI can think on its feet, solving new problems without prior training. It's designed to measure adaptability, reasoning, and learning in completely unfamiliar situations, just like humans do. In short, ARC AGI, AI is truly becoming intelligent, not just really good at patterns. The dawn of cognitive hyperabundance. For centuries, Knowledge has been scarce, limited by human capacity, education, and access to information. But with ASI, knowledge won't be something we acquire over years. It will be something we instantly tap into. This is cognitive hyperabundance, a world where every human has instant access to infinite knowledge. Creativity, problem solving, and learning are limitless, and anyone can become an expert in anything immediately. As AI systems like O3 keep advancing, we're moving into a world of cognitive hyperabundance, where machines supercharge human intelligence like never before. This means breakthroughs in science, technology, and creativity will happen at an unbelievable pace. AI won't just assist us, it will work alongside us, helping solve complex problems and generate game-changing ideas across every field. The future isn't just about smarter machines, it's about what humans and AI can achieve together. David Shapiro and ASI AI Researcher David Shapiro recently pointed out something surprising. Why isn't everyone talking about how fast AI is advancing? He noted that AI systems are now ranking in the top 10% 
across multiple programming languages, a shift he calls cognitive hyperabundance. So really what we're heading for is what I call um, a period of cognitive hyperabundance. Like I cannot stress enough what this means. And that's why I say superintelligence, my definition of superintelligence is when human intelligence is no longer a consideration for anything that humans want to achieve or do. This means AI isn't just getting good at coding, it's mastering math, science, and other complex fields at an incredible pace. In this new world, human intelligence won't be the bottleneck holding back scientific or economic progress anymore. But Shapiro also reminds us of an important reality. No matter how smart AI gets, it can't break the laws of physics. Concepts like thermodynamics still apply, and AI won't magically create limitless energy or rewrite the rules of the universe. So, while AI's potential is mind-blowing, we need to stay grounded. Superintelligence can push boundaries, but it won't make the impossible possible. A reality check. The future of artificial superintelligence, ASI, is exciting, but we need to keep our expectations realistic. Just because ASI will be incredibly smart doesn't mean it can do the impossible. We still live in a world with real limits, like the laws of physics. No matter how advanced AI gets, it can't rewrite thermodynamics or magically create infinite energy. Plus, building smarter computers isn't enough we have to think about real-world challenges, too. How do we ensure ASI is ethical? How do we manage limited resources? And how do we fit this superintelligence into our society in a way that benefits everyone? ASI has huge potential, but it's not a magic fix for everything. We need to be smart, be responsible, and plan ahead to make sure this powerful technology is used the right way. Are we ready? The rise of AI models like OpenAI's O3 shows that artificial superintelligence, ASI, isn't some far-off dream. It's almost here. These systems are getting smarter, learning to reason, adapt, and think beyond what they were originally trained for. We're standing on the edge of something huge, a time where intelligence isn't limited by human brains, but abundant and available like never before. This could lead to breakthroughs in science, medicine, and technology that we can't even imagine right now. But with great power comes great responsibility. While ASI offers incredible opportunities, it also comes with big challenges, like making sure it's safe, ethical, and truly benefits humanity. We need to stay excited, but also stay smart about how we handle this future. Because ready or not, it's coming. The idea of ASI is exciting, but also terrifying. If an intelligence far beyond our own suddenly exists, what happens to us? Will we control it or will it control us?